Uh, the KKK is rallying, or, or going to attempt to rally, thousands of people uh, after a, a move that Memphis recently pulled. So uh, I love this story because it shows you, it's it, it very, very telling as to the mindset of certain people. So I'll explain in a second, but uh, a Ku Klux Klan leader named Edward, who goes by the title KKK Exalted Cyclops, Mm, yeah, you're, you're a very mature adult, giving yourself the name Exalted Cyclops. You're not silly at all. Uh, he's promising the largest rally in Memphis history after the city decided to remove Confederate names from three parks. So, <laughs> in a 9-0 vote on Tuesday night, which, by the way, is the most obvious votes of all time. Like, of course, if you're on the council, you vote to change the Confederate park's names. Uh, the Memphis City Council approved temporary names for three Confederate-themed parks. So there was one park named Forest Park, but Forest was the last name of a Confederate guy. I didn't hear of it, so it sounds relatively benign. But they changed the name of that park to Health Sciences Park. Confederate Park will be called Memphis Park. Now, that one is more like, definitely need to change that one. Confederate Park? Confederate Park, uh, and Jefferson Davis Park is getting its name changed finally to the Mississippi River Park. So of course this is outrageous to the KKK, and uh, Mr. Exalted Cyclops told WMC TV that his group started planning its response before the city council even voted, so they knew the way the council was probably going to vote. He said, quote, you're going to see the largest rally in Memphis, Tennessee ever seen. It's not going to be 20 or 30. It's going to be thousands of Klansmen from the whole United States coming to Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, the KKK rally is expected to be held in the newly named Health Sciences Park. Confederate Army Lieutenant General Nathan Bedford Forrest is the guy who uh, the park was named after originally. Look, man... <laughs> The reason why this story is so interesting is because it goes to, sh to show you, like, we all live in our own little bubbles. Like, you know, I, me doing the show every day, after a while you start to think wrongly, always wrongly, that, yeah, you know, people probably by and large agree with me to a certain extent on some issues or at least half of the issues. You start to get a buildup of, I guess, arrogance is the right word. Because all the time you read stories that, boom, the bubbles popped, right? And you're like, there are people that still dress up in the goofy white outfits with the hats and they preach racism, etc. Ironically, the funniest quote I've ever heard about uh, the KKK and racism, and the truest quote I've ever heard, of all people, comes from Dennis Miller, who I know now is like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But he said about the KKK, it's the, the biggest irony you can imagine. Watching old, fat, white men drooling on their on their dresses slash bibs with the pointy hats uh not barely making coherent sentences all the while claiming to be the superior race look I, i've said it from day one I, ever since i was a kid I, I always knew racism was like the dumbest thing ever why because look how, what a massive waste of an emotion you're gonna waste your time caring about Oh, it, they're, we're inferior, they're superior, this or that, this or that. You know, first of all, if your mind already started down one of those paths to think whether or not you would be superior or inferior as a whole race, don't you, people are individuals, right? It's not like the only thing that defines one person is the, the, the color of their skin. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. People are individuals. You go person by person. Some black, black people are douchebags. Other black people are awesome. Some black people are dumb. Some black people are smart. I mean, the same thing goes for white people. And you find uh, it, it's similar from race to race. But just the fact that you would start thinking down that path of maybe our whole race is better than their whole race. What does that mean? What does that even mean? Why are you wasting your time? If you even start down that path, I think you're an idiot.